So I am about to video chat with Kelly Clarkson. Hi guys, and welcome back to the vlog. It is, why don't I ever know what day it is? It is Tuesday today. Welcome back, and most importantly, welcome this caffeination into my face. So Remy was right, these waves hang on forever, literally forever. I wake up and I don't even have to do anything. It's kind of great. I feel obligated to give you guys like a hair and nail update every time I turn on the vlog camera. Nails still going strong, waves still going stronger. So today's main task is going to be organizing all of my PR makeup and skincare and cosmetics. I've said this before, but influencers are so lucky and we are on so many PR lists, but it's just like, it's excessive. You physically cannot consume as one human enough of this makeup and skincare to try all of it. So I usually just donate it to friends, family, and shelters. So I'm putting together a few care packages, one for my friend Maggie, Corn Diddy's girlfriend, one for my stylist Brandon, one for a manager and um, her young nieces and nephews, and then also a grouping of products to go to a women's drug recovery shelter. So all the products are going to really good homes and I'm really excited to just like share things with everyone. With COVID, I've just had less people coming through my house, so I'm giving away less things. Typically, if someone comes over and like they aren't an influencer, I'm like, please take anything and everything you want. But that hasn't been the case the last like five months or so. So today I'm going to be doing some custom special deliveries of hella free stuff. Okay, serious progress has been made. This is a massive box of clothes, makeup, cosmetics, skincare. So I think Eli's gonna come grab this stuff to go to the Women's Drug Recovery Shelter for Women. Also, at some point this week, I have to go through my closet as well. So I might actually even hold on him coming to grab all this so that I can do a closet purge and just do like a whole donation thing. This is another box for my stylist. And then I totally forgot that Maggie works with kids. So I have some kids stuff from the HBO Max launch. This is a Lord DIY. Crap kit. I don't even know what this is, but it's so cute. So I'm gonna head out and drop this off on their doorstep for a no contact delivery. This is the storage bin where I keep all my PR makeup, and when it's empty, oh my god, it feels so good. It feels so refreshing and just like a nice little cleanse when this bin is empty, which is rarely. Hi guys, good morning. It is the next day. Good morning to you, and good morning to another jug of iced coffee. So I am about to video chat with Kelly Clarkson. A sentence I never thought would come out of my mouth. So Kelly Clarkson, who is like an OG American Idol, and like I'm an OG American Idol stan. My mom and I used to watch so much American Idol. So I'm a big fan of Kelly Clarkson. I think she's so amazing and she's really turned her career into something incredible. So anyways, Kelly Clarkson has the Kelly Clarkson show and we are filming, um, doing a little pre-tape so that it can air next week. So I'll have the date for you guys on Twitter or whatever when it goes live on the Kelly Clarkson show, but today we are bleach dyeing a Kelly Clarkson t-shirt. I'm so excited and like low-key, high-key, super fangirly. Oh. So let me show you my setup. I'm about to do like the tech check with her team, but I've got the Kelly Clarkson I Dare You t-shirt. This is the one we are going to be bleach dyeing and I tested it last week and it bleach dyes so well. It literally changes so fast. So excited for you guys to see these segments. We're gonna be recording on Zoom. So just through my laptop, I've got my bleach and I've got my backup t-shirt in case a catastrophe happens, which fingers crossed it does not. And a water spray bottle. I've got a rubber glove and some elastics to tie up these shirts. You guys have seen me do this a thousand times. So that that is the plan for this morning. Maybe I will record a tiny little sneak peek of our segment. Dude, like hanging out with Kelly Clarkson. So crazy, um, but I'll make sure to pop it on screen the day that this segment will go live on her show. But yeah, oh my God, I'm freaking out. All right, y'all, it's time to say hi to Lord Rihameki. How are you doing? Hey girl, good, how are you? It was lovely to meet you over Zoom, we'll to have you in the studio. Like, yeah. We can do that. For sure, I know. Oh, Come into the studio, you are great, Lauren. Thank oh, you. thank you so much, thanks for having me, guys. Stay healthy and stay safe, but I love your room, I love the paint job. Thank you so much, take care. Oh my God, just Zoom hung out with Kelly Clarkson. She's so cute. Also, her dog like barked during the segment. Um, I don't wanna give too much away about like what we did, because I want you guys to see the actual show, but her dog barked in the middle of the segment and I wanted to be like, please show me your dog. <laughs> But her background looks so cute. I'm not entirely sure where she's filming from right now, just because of the circumstances and stuff, but it looks super cute. So anyways, um, again, I'll let you guys know when that's going live. Ah, she was so nice. I feel like, ah. 
Hi guys, update. It is a little bit later and I just organized all the clothes behind me onto the rack because I'm finally doing a third episode of buying clothes from sketchy Instagram ads. This one, I think because of like coronavirus and everything, took even longer to come and things still have not arrived and it's been like four months. So I decided that I'm just gonna film the video because I think the other pieces that I'm missing, we'll just mark those as a loss and that is okay. So anyways, I just organized everything onto the rack to get that ready to film tomorrow. I honestly today am just feeling so bleh. Like I feel like a blob. I feel like a shell of a human today. I don't know. I feel like I'm having almost like post PMS. I don't know. I had like a rough night last night. I think obviously with like losing my friend it comes in waves but I also have just been really missing my family and this will be the first birthday this year in 27 years. Also yes I'm old. Shocker for those of you who don't know how old I am. That I will won't be with my family in Canada. So I feel like that's just been like a hard pill to swallow. And I think I kind of like got sad and then started spiraling about what's gonna happen at Christmas because there's so many different difficult moving parts to me being on a visa, Canada having really low numbers and coronavirus really, really under control. So my family could technically come here because families can reunite even though the border is technically closed. But because they're reuniting with me, blood family, they could come but then they'd have to quarantine in Canada for two weeks and my dad can't be off work for three weeks. And if we were to go to Canada, we'd have to quarantine for two weeks. And I don't know if moose could come because I'm not sure about animals traveling during coronavirus time as well. And Jeremy obviously has a full-time job. So there's just lots of moving parts. And even if I went by myself and quarantined for two weeks, I don't know if I'd have an issue getting back in because I'm not a citizen or a resident of the United States. I'm just a legal temporary worker basically and just a visa holder. So there are so many like moving parts that are all very confusing. I am kind of just like down about everything and I know that there are so many other families that have it so 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 much worse and things are so complicated and scary and just like this is totally unprecedented times in our lifetimes and honestly our parents and our grandparents lifetimes like this is crazy. LA is now officially the nationwide leader for cases so that's fun. At least when I do um, have to travel next week um, when I go to Miami. Miami is officially now safer than LA so I don't know but luckily there are a ton of testing sites in LA so we are gonna book a test as soon as we get back and then potentially another one just so we have two double negatives and then probably do a bit of a quarantine as well. So lots happening. Honestly feel like my anxiety is pretty good around the whole idea of traveling. I'm definitely nervous and like we're taking so many different precautions but I feel like I'm so over prepared for this that I've thought through everything and have everything and have like planned everything to a T that I'm just like struggling through regular anxiety anxiety I think right now. I've also been thinking about switching my anxiety medication. The one that I have been on I've been on for oh my god like 10 years now all of college and then out of college yes it's probably been like between eight and ten years now and i'm now at the max dosage of the medication that you can be without it being harmful to your body so we increased my dosage um last time i talked to my doctor that was kind of the last step before potentially switching over to something else so yeah, I don't know, lots happening. There's a there's a brain update for you. I'm sorry that there was such a mood transition from um, hanging out with Kelly Clarkson to now, but I'm just gonna put on potentially like a Netflix show or something like light and easy and clean up the DIY room. I just like feel so unmotivated and like, I just feel like a blob. I feel like super blobby today. Please let me know if you experience post PMS. Like, is that a thing? It really feels like it. Like this feels like PMS, but it's, it's not. I did that already. That was last week. <laughs> There's the update for you. I'll see you soon. Good morning guys. It is the next day. I am currently two thirds of my way done of day nine of the Chloe Ting summer 2020 shred challenge. I am just sweating all kinds of things like baby hairs be wild and I don't know what's going on here but I am on day nine today. Let me know if you guys are doing a Chloe Ting challenge. So anyways this is my morning so far so I figured that I would bring you guys along with me for the last video of the workout.
oh wait no i lost it <laughs> there was like a momentary shadow of ab <laughs> singular ab <laughs> anyways chloe ting you will be the literal death of me so shout out to you for my daily dose of torture love that for me today i'm filming the buying sketchy clothes no buying instagram clothes from sketchy instagram buying clothes from sketchy instagram ads episode three so i'm going to hop in the shower get ready and make my jug of iced coffee and get on with the day hi guys back in the diy room and i am ready makeup lunched not caffeinated yet i just kind of feel like i get really really bloated after just drinking like so much liquid and i do want to do a massive try on portion for the sketchy instagram video so go away the things that i do for video <laughs> anyways about to start filming and i have just kind of like scripted out all of my main points for the four different online stores that I'm going to be walking through the scale of sketchiness this series is honestly so much fun so this will be coming out uh, on this Sunday so this vlog will probably go up around the same time also it has been an alarming amount of time since I have washed my hair so if today is Thursday I got my hair done on Saturday I guess Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday th five days so that's pretty long I would say on average I usually go like four days but like it just is not getting green and it's so weird. I feel like I've mentioned this, but I have psoriasis on my scalp. So normally when I don't use like my medicated shampoo and especially using a super non-medicated salon shampoo, I'd have to wash my hair really frequently. My hair is being like a freak of nature currently. So that's the tea with that, sis. Sis. <laughs> you would walk in when I say sis, what god damn it. <laughs> Girl, it is just one of those days where my lashes are off before 4 p.m. <laughs> There's just like one corner that would not stick and I kept re-gluing and re-gluing and I'm just like, fuck it, I'm done with this ish. So anyways, lashes are gone. Eyeshadow still looks kind of good though. Anyways, I just finished filming. This video is so fun to film because the commentary is always really fun and I really don't like dive into the differences between what I think I'm gonna get and what I actually receive, but it is so much getting undressed and trying things on and clothes off and clothes back on and different color bra and different style of bra so the back doesn't show. And so it's just like so much change changing for like two straight hours after I filmed the commentary portion. Anyways, she's done, she's filmed, that'll be up this Sunday. And I've also narrowed down, like that's all that I'm actually gonna keep and the rest I'll just end up donating or giving away. So be excited to finally add some new pieces to my closet cause I always make a rule that like if I do a haul or like one of these videos, I can't add it to my closet until I filmed the video. So now it's good to go. Oh my God, I feel like my appearance has just slowly deteriorated over the course of this vlog. All right guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here. I feel like I've got cauliflower rice stuck in my teeth right now. I will see you guys on Sunday for episode three of buying clothes from sketchy Instagram ads. And then I will see you in the next vlog. Okay, bye guys. Love you.